it's the audio man here again and we are going to start your second trumpet lesson the way you hold your trumpet your third finger on your left hand goes into this into the third slide ring okay like so and these two fingers go under go around the valve casing on the left side of the trumpet okay your thumb relax or goes into the first slide thumb holder okay and then the th your thumb on the other hand rests on the outside of the valve casing like so all right and your fingers go on top of the valves not straight up like this but a nice relaxed position like you want it you want them on your tips but kind of like a little bit of a, at an angle, kind of like a 45 degree angle. Mm -hmm. The other thing I want to show you is when you're putting your mouthpiece in your trumpet, you don't want to just put it in there and just go boom and jam it in there, okay, with your hand. You want to take your trumpet mouthpiece, put it in the trumpet, and you just give it a little twist. And look, it won't come out. It's in there solid. The only way you take it out that you can get it out is if you twist it the opposite direction counterclockwise and pull it out, okay? Once again, you put it in, give it a little twist, and it's in there snug, okay? If you pound it in there, more than likely you're gonna get your mouthpiece jammed in there, or if you drop your trumpet, you will jam the mouthpiece in there, and you will have to take it to a music store to get it removed, to have them take it out for you, okay? But whenever you're holding your trumpet, whether you don't feel it's an expensive trumpet or if it is an expensive trumpet, you always want to take good care of it, okay? You don't want to just be swinging it around anywhere because you can get dents in the trumpet and it will harm your, your instrument. And then you have to take those out and, there's, and what happens is it starts to change the sound of the instrument. And you don't want to do that. You want to keep your, your instrument in great condition. Um, you know, I will do another video on how to take care of the trumpet uh, and that will help too. But what you want to do though is Again, you always want to make sure that you have a firm grip in there. Your third, your third uh, finger goes into the, to the third slide ring. Your pinky is extended on here, okay? And later, when you get playing, you'll understand why. Your first two fingers on the left hand go around the valve casing. Your thumb goes into the first slide. Your thumb goes on the outside of the, of the valve casing. Your fingers on the tips at an angle, okay? And then your pinky on your right hand goes in the pinky holder, okay? Now, the other thing I want to tell you, you never want to play your valves like this. Now, as you, <laughs> you'll you see that I will do tend to do that from time to time if I'm doing some jazz stuff and things like that, as you know, as the lessons progress. But if I'm doing any hard playing, I do always play on my tips. And the reason for that is when you're on your tips, like I showed you, you can play faster and you, you, you're more accurate. If you play like this, it slows you down. But on some music, when you're doing, when you're getting into more of the advanced techniques, it helps you to do certain little tricks. And it's kind of a style, I guess you want to say, as you're a better musician. But if you're playing anything that's fast, as you will notice with other professional trumpet players, they do play up on their tips when it's a fast passage. And of course, right now at this level that we're starting, you know, you don't have to worry about going super fast or anything, but let's concentrate on just getting the notes and you want to try to keep them as steady as you can. Okay. So you want to try to not make the note go waver like this. You don't want to go. You don't want to do that. You don't want to move it around on your lip. You put it right on the lip where you need to put it. Okay. We want to, I want to go over that again because it's so important to have your embouchure correct, okay? Again, two-thirds on the upper lip in the center of your lip, one-third on the bottom part of your lip, okay? That will ensure that you're playing correctly, all right? And I know it sounds like a lot of things to remember, but as you get further down, you'll be glad you did these things. It'll make it easier for you to play. It's a lot of things at the beginning, but once you get used to it, it becomes a natural a natural thing, just like playing a video game. First, you're like, oh, how am I going to do all these buttons, blah, 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 blah. But then eventually, you get used to not looking at the controller. You look at the screen, and you're just 
and it comes automatic. Same with trumpet. If you put as much practice in playing your instrument as you would play in a video game, you'll be fantastic.